So we're going to rehearse the very ending of our show first, and then we'll get on with the rest of it. And we so, thank you for, for pardoning us. Yeah, we, we have to rehearse just for one quick second. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Five on the board. This is really enough. Five on the No, please. 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 No, Coagulate into a big puddle of self congratulations. We are too deep. Right yes, here, right yes. here. We just say, okay, we're great. You were great. You were great. You were wonderful. Yes, you were wonderful. Yes. <laughs> is, there, is there an open reading after this? I'm not sure, actually. No. Let's just say you're right. Open reading after this. We get paid. This is true, yes. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You can show the first slide. Yes. <laughs> Where's the dancing midgets? We're here now. Oh, I <laughs> <ain't>. <laughs> <laughs> the anti-matter boys. 
see the loved ones. I am not the only one with hair like Hiroshima, so I read this poem also. He had hair like Hiroshima, had me smashing eyes, split second destruction and a change in my surroundings. He set the, he set the air on fire, all around there was heat, in the center sheer light reducing me to shadow. That first blast, the glare and the light I never imagined, I reeled upon inferno, unable to react, moving like before, stunned by some shift in reality. The second striking nuclear nod and resistance was rendered unthinkable. Surrender not an option, but reality. My shell-shocked mind signed the treaty he wrote. He disciplined an energy mere arms could not resist. I could only look at my defenses and, and his atom-smashing eyes and hope the surrender was honorable. It's called Sometimes I Dream But I Never Let Go. It is late in the evening, the phantasms of love ebb and recede. Sometimes I dream, and suddenly I am dreaming, I am in your arms, and we are twin oceans giving and receiving touch. Touch me more, now enough. It is a perfect, silken moment, I find asking myself, can she be real? She is in the fabric of my dreams, we are of the same voice, listening speaking, listening to touch. Touch me more, now I'll return this touch. Tell me when, and I'll give you too much. Sometimes I dream only that I'm dreaming. Sometimes I dream, mostly I remain still and close while everything around us whirls, vibrant, shifting in touch. Never let go, touch also in dreams and telephones, and sweet destiny, touch and never let go. This might be a song someday. This song's got a nice jazz intro. It gets into it. It's called Rip Me Apart in My Cuisine Art. <laughs> <laughs> Category one, two, or <laughs> Don't know what I'm doing and I don't know what I said. I feel like a pencil, like my mind's all filled with lead. It slipped to my mind just how to dial when I picked up the phone. I found I couldn't dial, wound up dancing to the tone. It shreds me, baby, baby, when I'm not close by your side. So why not shred me here and now and save a little time? You are a love machine, you know you're perfect for the part. You're such a beautiful machine, you're such a cuisine art. I can't just hang around you because there's something you must know. We might go all the way, but there's a further place to go. I can't just hang around you when this comes out to my heart. Rip me apart in my cuisine heart. <laughs> my heart is all flutter, honey, and my knees, they shake. Ever since you gnawed them off and threw them in the lake. The household goods of yesteryear are nothing next to you. I'm ever in amazement at the wonders you can do. You've got me singing all the time, it sure annoys the boss. Though he's a bastard anyway, it gets him much more cross. He says I'll tear my tongue. Out. Maybe that'd do the trick, but if you do the ripping sweets, we'd have the problem lit. I can't just hang around you because there's something you must know. We might go all the way, but there's a further place to go. I can't just hang around you when this comes right from my heart. Rip me apart, you're my cuisine art. I can't control my fingers and they crawl across your skin. My punishment was harsher than just a kick in the shins. You looked at me with your eyes and my fingers tore away. I knew you were my cuisine art on that very same day. So rip me, gnaw me, shred me, tear me, put me in a stew. Anything so I can always be inside of you. Ignore my plea of fast when I was reading. John Paul Sartre. I really know for certain now that you're my cuisine art. I can't just hang around you because there's something you must know. We might go all the way, but there's a further place to go. I can't just hang around you and this comes right from my heart. Rip me apart. You're my cuisine art. <laughs> This is, this is a little ode to relationships, meaningful relationships. <laughs> that, uh, it's called Issues. <laughs> I got an issue with you, that's what she said. I got an issue with you and it's a monster. I got an issue that I keep having all these issues with you. And I got an issue about that, too. And I said to myself, I don't have a relationship. I, I got a magazine subscription. I get an issue every week. Listen, please, Mr. Postman, we, we got to talk. And we argued, we misunderstood and got put on hold, misrepresented our opinions, talking out of control. See, what we got to hear is no communication. 
Well, if we can communicate, at least maybe we could shut up. <laughs> okay, I, I said I'll show her. Yeah, I'll, I'll really show her. I'll get drunk just to spite her. In fact, I'll get really drunk and really, really spite her. And when the next morning broke like a raw egg, <laughs> and I was hung over upside down a cup of gray coffee thinking, oh, I must have shown her a thing or two. <laughs> thinking, damn, I must be getting older. I can't beat myself up like I used to. <laughs>